QReader is an excellent tool for detecting phishing attacks, but is this the best tool for dealing with the actual, once, once the, the incident has been detected, is this the best way of actually dealing with it? So we can see that there's a malware involved in here, we can actually go in and look into the actual events and s investigate them and you know this is Jay Jones guy but let me show you a better way of actually dealing with this I'm gonna send this to my resilience system and I'm gonna select the template for phishing because I definitely suspect this is a phishing case what happens in resilient is that an incident gets open and let me actually quickly go to the task because things are already happening as you see this bar is progressing so notice that the system is extracting the actual email and there are multiple ways of actually doing this and you see all these other options we're going to get back to this but as you see there's a lot of automation going and, and one of the ways that we can extract that email information for example if we go and select only the in the app exchange only the resilient apps and look here for exchange, let's say that you have an exchange email server you have here the components so you can perform all those actions without writing the code that is behind it so, so as you see a bunch of actions has been performed once you get the email the, so the URLs and the body is extracted so the user can actually see it the investigator can actually see it and determine what type of campaign it is the, the IP address are extracted, the sender and receiver, you know, all these pieces are extracted. Notice that in, in here, automatically, the hash of the of the of one of the IOCs is automatically being sent to be blacklisted by Carbon Black. So if we see any occurrence of this, uh, Carbon Black should be blocking it. All this is doing automatically. It search on the EDR tool for see who else has been having this uh, hash involved, see if anyone is, has been bitten by this, go into some threat intelligence sites and explore these URLs, you know, get the same thing for the IPs. If you want to detonate something, send it to a, a sandbox. Do additional queries in, in QRadar uh, on the proxy log, so the, where, where else did this guy actually went to. Identify additional email recipients that were in this email. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's a task that we need to actually validate. Notice that this has not been accomplished automatically. Go to the CMDB and search for any information on that user, Jay Jones, and go on an LDAP search. And all that information is actually, we can actually go here in the system info and see, well, this is the results of the LDAP query. That's the guy. Uh, same thing on the CMDB. On affected system, well, the, the, the good thing is that from the carbon black perspective this seems to be the only one that we see these are the emails of the people that were copied on that uh, phishing email we can actually see on the artifacts on the searches of all those IOCs notice that we get yeah confirmation that this stuff is definitely <laughs> definitely malware so if we go back to the task then what you need to do is you will need to actually say that you you see this you can actually even see the actual email involved and see the details and you say well is this a human needs to tell me whether this is you know is this the case and you it's some recom strict recommendations on stuff that you should actually be performing in here you can go to that Anubi site in the University of uh, California Santa Barbara and uh, you know all those steps say that you do it and obviously in this particular case it's not hard to conclude that the system is actually infected so in order to change that we're going to edit here and we're going to say yep that system is actually infected and we save this and we can even complete the task in here and you, you can complete the task by going into it and reading or if you know what it is you can just click on this check mark and that gets on and once that gets actually completed because we confirm that is actual malware notice that is removing matching email from the mailbox that's a nice task to do I wouldn't have thought of that and then in here perform any containment 
of of of, uh, of remediation and what is it that that the system is telling us that we can do well let's see here well actually isolate host this is a way of telling carbon black get this guy out of the network we're actually doing that uh, because malware can can actually spread notice that 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 task is uh, is actually took place automatically I'm not clicking on anything this thing is doing all this uh, stuff notify all the users that has been infected again send an email to all those guys that were in the email saying warning I mean he you were in the list of some campaigns so make sure you don't open any email coming from these folks and you can uh, open a request to re-image the box uh, in Jira you can say complete and close and you have dealt with what is so time consuming like a phishing campaign I mean Curator is great at detecting it but it's not the best place for actually dealing with notice the richness of actions that are put in here in this uh, particular workflow for you to actually do and, and you don't have to follow these specifications uh, uh, you can actually do this and, and modify this let me actually show you the actual uh, the visual representation of the actual workflow I'm going here under the workflows and I'm going to put here phishing and then here we have it all those actions that we saw happening you know these are all parallel actions that you saw the thing the system doing all these things probably remember those the, the attachment the, the email has an attachment and the EDR all these actions were taken and then this is what we did manually validate that this if the system is infected which we did and then depending on the route take different actions and you can actually easily modify this workflow to make it fit better your set of action but this is a great way of actually dealing with phishing and and resilient has component for you know, very many other incidents and has the the privacy module that in case that you need to notify because of this or that regulation it really helps you in all that process so, so again curator the best place for detection for but remediation a tool like resilient is the way to go for that and the last thing for us to do notice that is at 95 percent completion all we need to do is actually click here to generate that incident report that is going to document all the actions that were performed in automatically and manually to resolve the situation the system is 100 100% complete and there is an you know you want to type here this is an optional step if you want to write any lessons learned from this process again a different way of dealing with incidents than uh, trying to do this just from curator alone